Hello and welcome to today's technical analysis video where I am going to be covering this substantial drop that we have seen on Bitcoin and whether this is going to be playing out for a bear flag and another leg down or whether the monthly can be reclaimed. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this video. You are very well and uh, yeah, let's get cracking. This is going to be a good video because, you know, it's it's technically played out really well and I apologize in advance for some of the jargon uh, you may or may not understand here. Okay, so looking at this, let's go through why. Why have we seen this drop? Okay, it was really simply because of a swing failure pattern as you all know we originally got our longs on that 9150 the 0.5 of our daily order block okay so we had our daily order block here found support perfectly perfectly off that order block okay but what happened is we had a very nice reaction up in one two three four five waves but we formed a swing failure pattern off of this high okay so you take the high this is obviously at 11k here take the high of 11k take that high take the liquidity and you obviously get a stop run and you know you fall back down what have we had line up from here? Fibs from low to high. We found support on the 382 of the fib. Okay, real strong support on that 382 where we had a lot of bounces, but you kind of bounce from the 382 up to the 236, and in the end, we fall down here. But let me go through this in a little bit more detail. Okay, so what we can see here is originally I got into a long from the middle of this parallel. Okay, middle of the parallel here. I got into a long from here because there was a, a decent bounce opportunity. You can obviously see you bounced on the middle of that parallel up to the Monday open. Okay, so Monday open is obviously now resistance. Okay, so you bounce Monday open and near here, you start forming your lower highs and higher lows, which is giving you a form of symmetrical triangle. Okay, you get to the apex of this triangle and break to the downside. Okay, so there was a little bit of slippage for me. But nevertheless, a nice trade. And what you can see here, okay, we are finding support off of this region right there. You can see that really I'm looking uh, 10, 8, 1, 10, 185, okay, as support. And uh, then our monthly now as resistance. So I got an oversold bounce because RSI under 15 minute came down to the teens. That is an oversold bounce every day of the week for me. Uh, so there was one scalp trade off of that, then into a short from the monthly resistance flip. Okay, this got $9 from the monthly. Obviously, if you look at it as a region, it's not uh, 10319 uh, Obviously, you're getting up there 10310 10, So within $9 of the monthly, that's a really good uh, short that you would always be taking after it's been obliterated back to short. Okay, um, so I've closed out of that one in a... In profit, it's a 1% 1% oversold bounce, 1% scalp short, and then we are now just range bound. Okay, so you do have to view this as, uh, for me, I'm like flat, so I'm not in a position on day trading stack at the moment. Okay, I would view this either as a bear flag, and we'll come down for another leg, or we, I want to see reclaim of really the 382. We reclaim the 382, then that is really, really, that would be for me really, really good if we actually manage to reclaim that. Okay, so now. Really, the, I'm just waiting for some price action to unfold. There's no need to rush into a position. I will go short if we actually break down again, and I will flip, or not flip, but I will take a long if we reclaim that monthly. So now it's just really being patient. As I as I was po posting in my chat earlier today, you know, you, we're going to screw over some retail investors now because, you know, we've, we've taken out the longs, taken out some shorts, and uh, now we can re remain range bound for a little while, uh, while over leveraged traders try and battle out this range. I'm not interested in trading this particular range unless it forms uh, into a longer range, give it four hours plus, and I would trade this range. But right now, I've taken two trades off of it. That's enough for me. I know, okay, now now I'm looking for either a breakdown or a reclaim of the uh, 382. Okay, and that's as simple as it goes. Obviously, I gave you all Elliott wave count over on Twitter today, and that obviously uh, leaves us looking for a wave two, three, four, five, or the alternative is that we can be putting in some form of X wave here, and it has to be slightly relabeled. Um, so you're obviously looking at a five wave structure or relabeling this into an X if you take the low of the one. Okay, so yeah, well done on the people that made some money here posted this and then within uh probably about what was that probably like one hour late year you're down like 400 dollars uh in bitcoin value so that was a very nice obviously this guy making some money off my calls um so very happy for that um always nice to see always nice to see um yeah i was gonna go through something here i can't remember uh anyway yeah, so then, yeah, obviously we're in that range. I'm either looking for a take of the lows or a reclaim of the monthly, keeping that fairly simple. Obviously, some of the alts today have actually moved relatively well. They've held up relatively well in comparison to Bitcoin. Obviously, your big biggest uh, trades of the day were Walton Chain. That was Ren. Well, Ren, really good. Uh, Engine Coin were really the top three. Bat had a little move, but obviously you have to look at Ren. Oh, yeah, Raven. How could I forget Raven? That was pretty nice. But obviously the big one, Ren. Raven also overnight saw a really substantial move to the upside. 
Um, so yeah, that's the main alts that I've been trading. That's how I've been trading Bitcoin, and that's how I'm looking now to trade Bitcoin. Give me some, uh, you know, give me some reasons to take a long or a short here. <laughs> okay, waiting on the market on this one, um, and that's how I'll be looking to take my next position. So I hope this video has thoroughly helped you out on what I'm looking for. Obviously, you have to view this re as resistance until it's reclaimed. So ten three fifty is resistance until it's reclaimed, and then obviously on the support side of thing, things, you know, ten ten one as zero point five. Uh, seven eight. Uh, sorry, nine eight. Uh, obviously nine thousand eight hundred as the golden pocket there. So those are the, some key areas for me. Uh, based off of Elliott Wave slash price action. Okay, Monday open ten six pretty much. So uh, yeah, hope this video has thoroughly helped you. If it has, I would really appreciate a like or a comment or a retweet. <laughs> retweet. <laughs> That's uh for Twitter. Apologies, YouTube, <laughs> or a um a share. Whatever whatever you want to call it. I don't mind. I just hope that you've enjoyed this video and thank you so much for joining me today um so yeah have a brilliant day forming a little bit of a uh, upper wick here you can see some upper wick rejections um but yeah so that's something to keep a note of and uh yeah hope you've enjoyed thank you everybody and i'll catch you in the next video cheers thank you good night bye <laughs>